like D2 college football games and nice. all that stuff. Just, uh, you know, hanging out with dad and it's a good time. And certainly some more recent memories made with Smash Bros. So shout outs to the College of New Jersey being an all around class institution. And of course, if it's Rivers and they have the option, they're going to immediately go to the Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, bird Chris. song and yeah. Chris, Chris, you let you let them do this, Chris. You gotta like just d take like five minutes out of your day and just lower the odds of this one appearing. Or put on some like, you know, Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy music, whatever you like. I don't know. It's just Mario 2 every time we're on the Smash stages now. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, we got Rivers, we got Wadi, loser semifinals, our final best of three of the late afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Two amazing players going against each other right here. We have Diddy versus better Diddy, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna see, have to see which Diddy is essentially the better one this time around. Yeah, oh, looking for that angel drop. Wadi is going to avoid the avoid the nanner and is like, okay, we'll catch these hands. That's perfectly fine with me. Oh man. The Billy getting bullied right now. Rivers sitting there at ledge. You want to sit and shield? That's fine. I can grab you. That's not a problem. And uh, good showing thus far from JRX. However, we got just a little too confident there, Rivers. Yeah, Rob up air. Breaking news. It's still a thing. That it is, my friend. And those arms are, in fact, intangible. As soon as they come out for that hitbox, you're not going to be trading with that if you try to, especially from the top. So, no way to ooh, be able to do that from that position. And no way to recover from an unfortunate air dodge from the ledge underneath the level. Rivers not looking too good in this first set, and he's throwing it this time around. Yeah. That's a three stock. Straight up. Just, nah, nah, I'm, I'm cool with that. That's uh, that's some good content for, uh, for Wadi's stream, though. I will say that, and I do believe he's on right now, but... Uh, so yeah, if you're, uh, if you're checking that out, hey, shout outs to the Billies, see you, but, uh, yeah, we certainly like to see you in this chat as well if you're down, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, Wadi just being an oppressive Rob as usual, you know, they didn't want to go Mewtwo for this matchup, as solid a Mewtwo as they might be, uh, the flaws of, uh, of Rob may be just a little less obvious than the other one, and, uh, definitely showing why uh, Rob is one of the preferred Wi-Fi characters. Um, and really, it uh, doesn't even matter if it's Wi-Fi or otherwise. This is indeed uh, the age of plastic. And uh, Wadi, <laughs> among the face of it. What power does the organic banana have against the plastic machinery that is robot? We might be living in the future right here, Stu. It's all going to depend if we're going to be going towards that future. Or taking a trip back to the past, specifically the medieval past, this Krom might be coming out if he was not comfortable with the Diddy this first time around. Might want a disjoint and a powerful one that combos into itself to mash in his face or not. We're sticking with the Diddy Kong. Interesting choice to just fight this item play with the item play, to say the least, man. It, But I mentioned earlier, man, I feel like Rob, they're different characters at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a one-to-one -one comparison. But Rob does do a lot of what Diddy does but a little bit better. So it's interesting to see Rivers try to contest that. I feel like he's Ooh. gonna have to seriously outplay Wadi here. Like that, if he wants to I win. Mean, I mean, Rivers is has no choice but to do so, and is Wadi AFK? Oh no, I was about to say, like there's some uh, serious mind Even games that- Rivers happening. hesitated just, for a second too, you see that? Yeah, just a, just a bit, where he's like, what in the world is going on here? But uh, nevertheless- <laughs> You gotta love it. But, it's it's yeah. messed me up in some of the Wi-Fi brackets that I've played in, too. I'm just like, wait, is he, like, AFK? And then he tech rolls. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I, I miss the punish. It's just how it goes sometimes. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It'd be like that. And the thing is, you're talking about, uh, yeah, Diddy has, uh, I would imagine Rob being a problem matchup for them because you can, you do have those options that just kind of win neutral for you. Wadi had, I mean, with Rob... You have Gyro, which basically just plays the game for you, more or less. And I'm not really sure how, what you do about that. Like, you have to be a solid, fundamental player, not just as a Diddy, just a Smasher in general, in order to negotiate that. And we're seeing that in Rivers right now, 68% uh, tacked on, sure, but up a stock and winning the majority of interactions thus far.
For sure, my friend, for sure. Especially with that 0 to 70 that we saw earlier at the beginning from Rivers. He definitely immediately might have gotten a little frustrated, but immediately knew the counterplay that he had to enact for sure. Definitely got to get more off those punishes. Both opponents with their items in hand, tossing that gyro sandwich down. Gyros don't go too well with bananas, though, my friend. Definitely not a good food combination, so you know one of those is definitely going to beat out the other up close. Wadi, I'm not going to ask you how you know that. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rivers and Wadi. More stories from Teenage Nintunas coming up later in the stream, <laughs> folks. How did he know? Uh, man, that when I look, when I get a read on people, I get the read. But it's, uh, oh, yeah, getting oh, the drops at reads. the ledge. Yeah, you better believe. Oh, but they do have the fuel to make it back. A little bit harder to uh, to clip Wadi's wings than perhaps uh, Rob would let on. Oh, the Wally Wop not going to be able to come through. Shielded by Rivers. And yeah, you better believe. Uh, pretty much any Diddy worth their salt is going to be able to react to that. And Rivers at least able to reset and uh, still maintaining a slight advantage in this game number two. All that fuel to make it back, man. That's the power of Japanese engineering. Mm. Throwing out that neutral air in the center. Not even up in stocks, though. Diddy is looking pretty poised right now. Air dodging up back. That He did use the kick right there, so he would not have been able to utilize a jump out of it that time around. And air dodge was pretty much River's best option right there. Re-grabbing the ledge, though, was not for sure, especially with giant, powerful, and lingering hitboxes like Rob's back air. Pretty much any move that utilizes his rotors, or his uh, rockets, for sure, I meant to say, is a powerful one, to say the least. And because of that error in his ways, Rivers and Wadi are down completely even. Rivers potentially on his tournament stocks, Stu. Still hanging around those down tilts. And yeah, the combos from Rivers. I mean, this is, at the end of the day, yes, it is Rob, but it's still a heavy. You're able to combo this thing, and there is nothing that you can't say about this situation that isn't winnable. It's the uh, blessing and curse of having weight in a platform brawler. You're probably just going to get tagged around by someone who's just a little bit smaller and whose buttons come out maybe just a little bit faster and aren't as committal. But then again, you get so much out of this if you're Rob. There's a reason why we have seen this character win tournament after tournament. Certainly Wadi among those celebrated robots. And the rise of the machines may not yet be complete, however, because... It may yet still be the Planet of the Apes, Nintunist. I was... Mm, mm, if you didn't finish that sentence, <laughs> if, you, if you were past... If you passed it to me a little bit earlier, that same exact joke was going to come out of me, but leave it to Stu, the <laughs> announcer, to one-up me when it comes to the puns, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's always keeping me on my toes. It's why I appreciate him immensely uh, as again, my co-worker I, and co-caster. Dude, you're, you're taller, but I, I'm smaller, so my buttons just came out quicker. That's just how it is, but that's just... Uh, <laughs> It's what it is. Look, there's no shame in being... working on being, screen right now. No shame in being smaller than Tunis. The dude's like six foot eight or something. <laughs> but, no, the, uh... Yeah, Wadi, yeah. again, trying to catch Rivers coming in with that back air. Rivers having none of it in no rush to get this last hit. And, again, it's the patience of Rivers. Could be sitting in the shield for just a little too long, however. Who misses on the Wally Wop and the invincibility of Rivers coming out just in time and getting right out of the way of those rotating arms. The whirling dervish that is Wadi has yet to take the stock, but they are bringing it back slowly mm. but surely in a methodical game number two. It's as tense as anything in Tunis, but the back air is going to connect on the head and barely take it for Rivers. That got intense, and we saw Wadi getting just a little closer. I am I mean, you, you say something, man. I've been talking for the past two minutes. <laughs> no worries that the eye on the forward air. Uh, the forward smash, I should say, definitely going to do it. There was one situation towards the end where I was so, so nervous for Rivers. He put himself off the level through a monkey flip off of the whiffed Wally Wop from Wadi. That's the arm rotor. That's what we call it here in Tri-State, or at least us commentators do. Deal with it. And he sacrificed stage control for it. And the banana. He be reversed the banana back on stage to try to just keep some pressure on Wadi in the corner. But as a result, he, he gave him the banana in center stage. The fact that Rivers was able to fight his way out of this situation was absolutely insane. I can't even talk about how clutch this back air was. Good stuff reading the ledge jump right there from 
Wadi. And now we're moving on to the final game right here. You know these guys are already sweating against each other with the way that that second game ended. You don't want to miss this action that we got here in Loser Semifinals here at King 2021, brought to you by TCNJ, the College of New Jersey. Lion Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Doing some wonderful stuff out here. Small Battlefield is the pick once again. Game three. Let's do it. Yeah, and these two lions of the game in of themselves, Rivers and Wadi. I mean, online and, and off, their accomplishments are numerous, and Wadi is going to hold a ever so slight disadvantage on the scoreboard, at the very least, as, yeah, Rivers keeping them at bay at the ledge. Fuel might be running low, and yeah, Rivers knows it. The air dodge to the back to the ledge, Wadi. I mean, timing oh. that out perfectly, Rivers can only guess correctly for so long, but still, damage has been done. Well, let's be real, Nintunis. If if Rivers takes that stock there, it's a bonus. And it's a very well-earned one. But you the point is you tacked on that much damage and really put Wadi into an uncomfortable position at the at the outset. Yeah, you know, being off the level like that without any gas is definitely no good to be, man. Wadi still runs on gas, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, not the best environmental choice, but, you know, I'm sure he'll be upgraded at some point in the future, especially with that meter that's on top of him. But, hey, yeah, all, being off the level with no gas is a pretty rough spot to be in, and being a big body in the corner with the pressure out of a tech chase situation against a fast monkey is also not a good place to be in the corner either. Wadi, first stock going down right here. Two more for Rivers for him to just advance to loser's finals and be out of the best of three territory finally. And with the way his punish game is playing right now... It's looking like he wants it a little bit more, Stu. Oh, yeah, and the, uh, yeah, that's the down throw. I was expecting the up air the whole way there, but uh, maybe not happening quite yet. Wadi trying to pick their spot here uh. and get Rivers into a compromised position, but just like that, it's Wadi at the ledge, able to win it back and almost called out the, uh, the landing of Rivers, not able to get the grab as they were looking for but eventually is going to get the Wally Wop off of the stage and Rivers sporting the JRX tag, shout outs to the Reading Rockman, is uh, going to be at a two stock to two situation with an ever so tenuous advantage that could go away with just one more combo. As close as it gets, my friend. That was actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was the first Wally Wop we've seen kill all set. Funny enough. I, I haven't, we have not seen that move actually kill too much unless I'm forgetting earlier, but regardless, we might see a monkey, monkey Wally Wop tail instead here, if that's even a thing. From the corner right here, he can keep him in there pretty easily. That is Diddy Kong. You can keep that banana by the ledge against a big body like Rob. Out of disadvantage, it's not the easiest spot for the robot unless he commits with something like a side B from ledge. Nothing doing though, but now he's got the banana in hand as well. And we're having ourselves a good old fashioned food fight, dude. We got peanuts, we got bananas all up in here. Oh, God, it reminds me of the sixth grade all over again. I mean, I don't know how you feel about Greek food, but I'm feeling in the mood for some gyros, and that is going to be what Wadi's thinking as well. However, yeah, not really sure bananas are the uh, are the play to go along with that. Uh, as you uh, as you mentioned before, that just means I'm taking your word for it in tuna, so be grateful. Hey, I'll tell you as much as I have playing Ring Fit before. Gained a lot of uh, gained a lot of muscle over quarantine because of Ring Fit Adventure, and mainly because of the banana protein shake. So I'm not in the mood for that gyro. I want to see what these bananas are going to be able to do. As one more of those will definitely do it against Wadi right here at 168. percent If he takes this first stock doll on the way back though, which he is going to, not with the down smashed. Forgive my words right there. This is still absolutely anybody's game. Wally Wop though, <laughs> looks like he's making up for lost times too. Sure is, but it's going to be that back air that makes up for that lost stock, and here we go. Nevermore Rivers, Panda Global Wadi, one stock apiece. Oh, man. Oh, this is how it starts right here. Big Diddy Kong punish game against a big character like Wadi. Oh, it's a good oh. thing that Wadi DI'd that neutral area, and otherwise this could have easily been a dead robot. That would have converted into a down there easily. And I don't know if you noticed something, but the bananas with that potassium was pretty good for you. With the exception of that one hit, Rivers didn't get touched all this stock, but as I say that, the commentator's curse comes out. It might look like he's down, but one Wadi Rob string. One side be in the right spots, dude. That's all it takes. And he did get all of his other kills in this game with that move. So you know Wadi's looking for it. Oh. 
Yeah, no, this is uh, Wadi oh, no. trying to get this back, making up for a lot of damage that Rivers put on earlier in the stock. Down smash going to give him a little bit of space. That laser doing quite a bit of work. Those jet barrels, though. Rivers, oh, playing this fast and loose, trying to get Wadi to guess just a little bit more. We were My looking God. for that up there, but w Rivers thinks better of it and says you're going to have to do just a little bit better than that. It's as tense as it gets going into the final stages of this set. Oh, Looking no! for the jab lock. Wadi's able to shield. Oh. Rivers could not pull the trigger. And just like that, in triple digits, anyone's game. It's a, it's a full Italian meal if I've ever seen one. That was a forward smash off of the banana trip. And Rivers not getting it. He's all the way up to the top right here, trying to monkey flip his way around, having to mash out of those berries early and over on again. Forcing him into the corner with those neutral airs over and over again. It doesn't matter. Rivers shows fear to none. This is the little monkey that took out King K. Rule to save his big buddy almost all by himself. He needed the help of his girlfriend, but she's not here, and he was able to still take out Wadi Rob. Stu, what a set. What a set between these two combatants. I mean, does it get any more tense than the final stages of what we just witnessed i mean that uh david versus goliath story well yeah the smaller character does win but uh yeah these are two goliaths of smash that went against each other and something had to give this day belonged to nevermore rivers and so they will move on to face off against uh wadi's uh panda brethren esam and uh, still keeping it in the state of Florida. The, the top three of this tournament, in fact, hailing from the Sunshine State. But uh, a very different kind of beast. You're going from Rob into Pikachu. So really testing out Rivers' uh, range here.